Okay. So what we have learned so far is our CFZ, right? So C, F. By the way, this is F because you just uh, invert or flip, right? Z. Z, Z is quite obvious. It's just left and right. So in this case, just now, you say this is F. Okay, if you use F, Okay. You, you you can extend this that's your F okay or if you don't want to extend that side you can extend this side right right okay good so now your A is definitely not where the 115 is right so in a way if you want to use F what is F F means let me use a different color F means if this is the angle, right? Where's your angle that is the same as 115? Is here, right? Why? Because this angle is below the line, right? You see, it's below the line, right? So therefore, this angle is also below the line. Okay? And by the way, F, so if you want to use F, so F, the rule is called corresponding angle. Corresponding. The meaning of corresponding means same position. Okay? Same position. So if this is below the line, this has to be below the line. So that means this is 115. Right? Okay. So if this is 115, how do you find A then? Can you see that? You can actually rotate this. So what is this now? If you rotate. Yes. Actually, if you rotate it, you will see that, hey, these two actually add up to 180, right? Okay, the rule is angle on a straight line. That's the rule. That's the name of the rule if you want to know. Okay, mm -hmm. so they have to add to 180. So therefore, your A is equal to 180 minus your 115, which is 65. So if you want to use corresponding angle here, yes, you can. You need to find out the 115 first. After that, you use 180 minus. Okay? So that's how you use corresponding angle.